and Labor Day weekend is upon us. There's going to be all kinds of boats out there on the lake today. So this is going to be pretty busy as well. So you're going to want to have some strategy if you decide to eat somewhere in town. Like she said, it is the cleanest. So apparently, I don't know if I quote that on video. Probably not, right? They said Skinny Atlas Lake is the cleanest of all New York's. A yeah, cleanest clear lake of all. Of us was built over the crumbling remains of a steamboat dock, which used to service steamboats that took passengers and goods to the south end of the lake. The largest and probably the most well-known boat to use that dock was a double-deck steamboat called the City of Syracuse. The city was 125 feet long and could carry 600 passengers. There were steamboats on Skinny Atlas Lake from 1850 until 1914, when the city of Syracuse burned her waterline and was sunk off the end of the pier. On this side of the pier, there's a channel that goes under Genesee Street. That is the Skinny Atlas Lake outlet. The lake flows from the south to the north. Skinny Atlas Creek goes north all the way to the Seneca River. The lake was a feeder for the original Erie Canal of 1825. You get a pretty good look at the backs of the stores that line Genesee Street. The brick section on the end is Leg Hall. It was the first section to be rebuilt after a fire in 1835 leveled the original storefront. It was built as a carriage factory. It also has been a dance hall and a movie theater. Now there are shops and condominiums in Leg Hall. The gray stone church at St. James Episcopal Church. St. James is the second oldest Episcopal congregation in Onondaga County and the only church located directly on Skinny Atlas Lake. The first settlers in this area were Moravian missionaries up from Pennsylvania. They built their mission hut where St. James is located today. The stone house next to St. James is called the Boulders. When the Boulders was built in 1883, the ground was soft there and they had to use large boulders to fortify the foundation. It was the first multi-family dwelling in Skinny Atlas. At one time it had an operating four-story elevator in it and 13 fireplaces including one in each of its 11 bedrooms. You'll see a big white house with black shutters and brick chimneys. That house was built in 1822 for Dr. Samuel Porter, the first practicing physician in Skin Atlas. He was on his way to Rochester to set up his new practice. He stopped in Skinny Atlas and liked it so much he decided to stay. Turn it up. There's a big property off to the left. Uh, it has a boathouse, an older white structure in the middle of it. The lot goes all the way to Genesee Street. That house sold last year for $5.8 million. Wow. Okay. That big white one, I think, is the strength of the one. I haven't looked at that in a while. You know, wow. This one, no one knows what that's yeah. gonna go for. I know. <laughs> I would like a one, one boat garage. Yeah. 
parking. <laughs> Subdivided the land, built their homes on their own privately owned property, and share the beach property during the summer months. The dark like brown that. structure with the reddish it. roof yeah. is called Gregory's Landing. Scott Gregory competed in the 1984 and 88 Winter Olympics in the ice skating competition. As I mentioned earlier, Skinny Atlas Lake is very clean, and that is why. In the late 1800s, the city of Syracuse looked to Skinny Atlas as a water source. Cities were having a hard time uh, getting clean water to their residents. After a lot of discussion with uh, New York State, the city of Syracuse, the village of Skinny Atlas, and the Canal Commission, Skinny Atlas, uh, Syracuse did gain water rights to Skinny Atlas Lake. They put in a line to take water to Syracuse and Skinny Atlas to put an additional line for the village. Up until that point, the village used this brick building on shore with a big brick chimney. That's the original water pumping station for the village of Skinny Atlas water supply. It was operated from 1880 until 1910 and used to house a large steam operated pump which pumped water from this part of the lake back to the village. The pump house was vacant until 1927 when it was purchased by Judge Ben Wiles of Syracuse. He turned it into a summer home for his family. Judge Ben Wiles was the father of Peter Wiles, who established the Lakes Navigation Company in 1968. The boat you're riding on today was named in honor of the judge. The judge was built by Midlakes Navigation Company when it was owned by the Wiles family. She was launched for the first time on July 3rd, 1986. The judge is 65 feet long, 18 feet wide, and licensed to carry 120 passengers. This property was a terrace lawn, was originally owned by Charles Reston. He was the founder of Revlon yeah. Cosmetics. Skinny Atlas Lake is 16 miles long. This lake, like the rest of the Finger Lakes, was formed as glaciers moved across New York State, digging out long deep trenches, which then filled up with water and are now called the Finger Lakes. Skinny Atlas is the easternmost of the Finger Lakes. Some people refer to it as the eastern gateway to the Finger Lakes. The reason the lake is so when clean is because it is almost entirely spring fed, and there's no industry located huh? directly on the shore. The word Skinny Atlas is a native word meaning long, narrow water. Steamboat no, traffic started for the prosperous logging business which took place around the lake. The trees would be cut Do down, stand up, dragged to the shore, tied together, and nope. wrapped it back to the you could stand for a minute. Lake Finger became popular as a steamboat and became more dependable. And soon people were building their homes along the way. The main Finger Lakes is Skinny Atlas Lake, Alaska, Cayuga, Seneca, Cayuga, Canandaigua. The Finger Lakes lie in the heart of New York State wine country. New York is the third largest wine producing state in the nation behind California and the state of Washington. The breezes that come off the cool water combined with the warmth of surrounding hillsides make excellent great the
grandma lives on a lake, so, you know. Where's that? <laughs> it's like nice to see some of these people outside. It's like usually, you know, you drive by these mansions and there's like nobody around. But like most people actually live in their boats. Stay in the back. <laughs> well, this is That's what I'm saying. This is where they swim. Usually, you see the Right. Metallica, the heavy metal rock band. 
John Walsh, who is a native of Auburn next door, created, produced, and hosted the show America's Most Wanted for many years after his son Adam was kidnapped in the 70s. John is very active in the Skinny Atlas Polo community every Sunday afternoon in July and August. The Polo Club hosts a match at their field at 3 o'clock. The field's on Andrews Road, just not even two miles outside the building. You might want to check out Skinny Atlas Polo. If you're from Syracuse, it's around here, you might be familiar with the Green Hills Grocery Store. The Red House on Shore with a friendly hello there sign belongs to the Hawkins family. They own the Green Hills Grocery Store. Derek Jeter, former New York Yankee baseball player, co-authored a trilogy of books with a local author with a baseball theme for young readers. He uh, was in town for quite a while working on that project. The Baldwin, um, Alex, Daniel, Stephen, and Billy, uh, they're all from the Camillus area, not too far away from here, and they do frequent Skinny Atlas as well. David Muir, the national news anchor for ABC, is renovating a home on the lake right now. Water. Oh, yeah. Lake level is pretty consistent, uh, but in June of 1972, Hurricane Agnes blew through this area. That storm raised the level of the lake up the side of that boathouse, that gray boathouse, almost to the windows. Oh. Uh, as you probably noticed, homes on Skinny Atlas Lake vary widely from modest summer camps, cottages, and boathouses two more elaborate year-round estates. This house with the red roof belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Henry Beck. The Becks own Tussie Plastic in Elbridge, north of Skinny Atlas. It's an international plastic company. Uh, they were very busy during the pandemic manufacturing medical implements to fight the coronavirus. This property with a big white house was originally owned by John Wilkinson. Wilkinson invented the first air-cooled engine used in the automobile. It was used in the Franklin Automobile, which was manufactured in Syracuse. For many years, Tom and Kathy McDonald had a lovely home there, where they hosted Bill and Hillary Clinton during their visit to upstate New York in the late 90s. You gotta sit on my lap the current owner is Jimmy Buffett's business partner. We're going to cross over to the west shore now, my two cat breezy out here, so uh, hang on to anything that might blow off the boat, a couple of things after the anything like that. Uh, further down the lake, 10 Miles Point is the location of Lord's Camp, a summer camp for kids operated by the Catholic Church. At the south end of the lake is a restaurant called the Glenhaven with road access and boat access. Five miles down the east shore is the hamlet of Van Dana on the location of Skinny Atlas Marina on the Van Dana Inn. The inn has operated as a tavern since the late 1800s. The marina offers motorboat and jet ski rentals.
if anybody wants pictures taken in the pilot house for the little ones, you're more than welcome to come up. Carolina, go. A lot of boats there. It's a lot of boats. It'd be nice to have a boat here. Yeah? Originally owned by Abraham Cuddyback, who was the first farmer in Skinny Atlas. The land was given to him for his services during the Revolutionary War. Much of the land around Skinny Atlas Lake was divided up into military tracks and doled out in that manner. The current owner has built the largest privately owned residence in Onondaga County. Onondaga County pretty much surrounds the north end of Skinny Atlas Lake. Uh, Cayuga is at the southwest end of the lake, and Cortland is at the southeast end of the lake. undergoing a complete renovation is known as the Hazard Estate. The Hazard family found its salve process which later became allied chemical and Syracuse. Yeah. The 
first property was a big white boathouse it was called Westgate. Westgate was originally owned by the Robbins family of McKesson Robbins Pharmaceuticals in New York City. That company was the first company to manufacture medicine in tablet form. The white Victorian style boathouse was part of the original Roosevelt Hall property and was a playhouse for the children. A beautiful stone house belongs to Adam Weissman of Owego, New York. He owns upstate shredding, a large scrap metal company here in the Northeast. The property gets a lot of attention as a $20 million estate here on Skinny Atlas Lake. He actually purchased several properties to build his lakeside home and then bought the house next door to build his thing. He bought and renovated Crud's Restaurant, a well-known restaurant here in town on Genesee Street, which used to be the Cherry Valley Turnpike, a main thoroughfare between Albany and Buffalo. He also opened El the Sherwood is the second oldest continuously operating hotel in New York State. It was built by Isaac Sherwood and was a layover station for his East West Stagecoach Company, which ran between That's Albany and right Buffalo. There. Next to Sherwood, there's a brick and stone building that is the gatehouse for the city of Syracuse water supply. We supply Syracuse with about 40 million gallons of water a day, and it's all regulated through that building. It's done entirely by gravity. There are no pumps involved, which is possible because Skinny Atlas Lake is several hundred feet higher in elevation. I guess so. We're going to be docking shortly. It does take a couple minutes to get the boat all secure at the dock, so uh, I ask that you all sort of stay put until the boat is fully secured. That would be appreciated. I'd like to take this time to thank my crew. They do a great job. They always make me look good. I hope they help uh, make your cruise enjoyable as well. Uh, if you'd like to show your appreciation, there's a means to do so down on the main deck. And check out our website at midlakesnav.com for information about our daily departures. We have lunch cruises, dinner cruises, cocktail cruises, the mail boat, which actually does deliver mail to a uh, number of cottages around the lake in July and August. We have specialty cruises as well. This Memorial Day, or excuse me, this Labor Day Monday, the judge is going to be going all the way around the lake. Three times a year. Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. So that's midlakesnav.com. Um, I think the field days, are they going on today, tom today tomorrow and Sunday? Tomorrow and Sunday with, oh, entertainment, uh, a midway for the kids, lots of yummy food, and it will support the volunteer fire department. Is that what it is? Yeah, volunteer fire department. So check out the Skinny Atlas uh, Labor Day Field Day right up Jordan Street or State Street. You can go there either way. Hope you enjoy the rest of this beautiful day in Skinny Atlas. It's going to be a great weekend, great week coming up. Uh, and I hope you all enjoy it. And I'm on behalf of the crew of Midlakes. Thank you very much for joining us. Sorry, I will accept you.